doing the 25 bookish facts. This was not an easy challenge. It took a long time to figure out the facts. So I don't know myself. Mm -mm. So um, we have 25 facts each. It is not broken up. So we'll go back and forth, basically. Okay. Number one for the fact about me is I love both paperback and hardbacks. I don't really have a preference, and if I have paperbacks and hardbacks mixed into one series, I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those people that has to have the entire series in a certain form. It'd be nice too, but it's easier when you find it, you find it. Then you gotta get it, especially if it's cheap. Okay, so my first fact was I actually read my first real like chapter book at the age of three. I kind of just picked it up and I haven't stopped reading since. Two. If I'm in the book zone, I could read 100 plus pages an hour. That's pr that's actually a lot. It may not sound like a lot, but it is a lot because I, I read pretty fast. It does. So I just say if it's a good book and I'm in it, then I'm just like flying through. I'm good to go. She's like Speedy Gonzalez. Alright, so my number two is I like both book and ebook. I pretty much, I'm not one of those ones who has to have one or the other. As long as it's got words and I can read it, I will read it. I prefer ebook because they're cheaper, but I like the regular books too, so I will take either one. I read whenever and wherever I can, except for in the car because I get motion, motion sickness. sickness. That's the only place I don't read and either. It's really unfair because a lot of my friends can read in cars and they're not big readers, so they don't understand my pain of when I sit in a car for hours with nothing to do but stare out the window like I'm in a sad music video. And then I you can't have to hope read. That, that doesn't make you motion sick too. That doesn't make me motion sick. Oh, you're lucky. It's just that there's words in front of me, so yeah. I can't go on my phone or anything. That's no fun. I grew up reading the classics, so I still cling to a lot of them. My favorite classic, still one of my favorites, is Anne Green Gables. I just kind of connect to it. So I'm one of those people that, as long as I, if I can find a classic novel, I'll tend to read it, even though the English is really hard to understand sometimes. I still like them. I love ebooks so much. I love them. I don't go anywhere without them, literally, because it's on my phone. Yes. And it's on my tablet, which I bring with me, and then, you know, on my computer and everywhere else. They're just so good. I love them. Mm. That's all. They're easy transportation. That's it. So easy. Alright, so my next one is The Secret Garden was one of the first books I ever really read and reread. So it's still one of my favorites. I still like to read it, even though it's a kid's book. I just. It was an awesome book, and they did really well on it. Five. I dislike audiobooks. Mm. Can't stand them because when I'm listening, I'm not paying enough attention and it goes completely over my head so I don't remember anything. I actually have to have the words in front of me so I can absorb the impact and what's actually going on. Number five for me is my all time favorite book is actually The Great Gatsby. It is one of my favorite books and I have reread it so many times and I hear a lot of people who think that book sucks but it doesn't. It's really good. I like it a lot. Classics have a way of being hard to read. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Number six, romance is my favorite genre. Everybody should know this. I say it all the time. As long as it's romance, I will enjoy it. Mine kind of goes along with yours. Mine says I actually prefer romance, but we'll read just about anything. Ooh. But I prefer romance because... Tag team. <sighs> Those book boyfriends. I'm on. I like them. Number seven, yo. I don't like John Green. Let me rephrase this. I don't like his writing. Mm. I've seen his videos. He's a funny guy and everything. and He's cool and awesome, whatever. But I don't like his writing. I don't like his books. I can't stand the books. Mm -mm. The writing's just, mm, no. No. That's, a, that's the hard one. Number seven for me is bookstores are like my second home. If I could be at a bookstore all the time, I would. But my paycheck and my credit card would not appreciate me. I forgot to say who tagged us. Guys! Becca's bookshelf tagged us. She's awesome. She's down below. Check her out. Let's just slide that in right there. Okay. Number eight, I love fairy tale retellings. <sighs> I love them all. I've read so many. I can't remember their names, but I've read them and I liked them and they were awesome. Those are always good if they're done right. Number eight is if I am on a like, if I'm in a good book and I can't put it down, I will sacrifice sleep to finish it. I don't need sleep. I need to finish the book. Number nine. I don't eat, nor do I drink while I am reading. I don't like crumbs on my pretty pages. 
Mm. And I have a fear of whatever I'm drinking is going to spill everywhere because it happens quite a lot, especially when my cat jumps on my lap suddenly. And it goes all over my books and I just ruin them. So I don't, I don't do that. I just put my book down when I need to eat or drink. That's a good idea. Okay, so number nine for me is I wish Goodreads had been around when I first started reading because I literally have no way of calculating how many books I've read in my lifetime. Now that I have Goodreads, I can do that. But I have read so many books growing up that I, I can't. I honestly, I got nothing. Mm. Number 10. I am an author for one reason and one reason only. So I can write books the way I want them to be written. Yes. So I originally got to writing because a book I liked didn't end the way I needed it to end. So I rewrote the entire book and made a new ending. And that's how I got into it, because I was just like, this book's not happy. I'm not happy with it, and you should be happy, so I made it happy. That that's like the that's best reason is. ever to start writing. I love it. That's how it goes. <laughs> Alright, so mine is, I'm actually growing tired of dystopian novels, because they all feel like they're the exact same thing. Every single time I read a dystopian novel lately, it's got the main character is a heroine, they're a lot like the Hunger Games, there's all this stuff that happens, and it just, it feels hashed out. Okay. Eleven, I always have a book with me, mm. whether it be physical or an ebook. So my favorite thing about fantasy is that how quickly it can take me into a whole new world. If it's a good fantasy novel, I will completely forget that this world exists. That is what I like in a good fantasy novel. I like the other worlds a lot. Number twelve. Um, That's a lot of. When I read, I sometimes act out the dialogue. Like if it's a very emotional scene, I'll like get into it and I'll say the words out loud and I'll make sure my face is just in that character moment and I just reply and I say stuff. <laughs> so growing up, I wasn't allowed to read a lot of different types of books. My parents growing up were very, I had to read whatever it was they approved of. So I'm making up for lost time now. I'm reading pretty much anything I can get my hands on. As long as it's a book and it's good, I will read it. That's my thing. I'm just, I'm making up for lost time. Running out of time. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. 13. I will only share my book if I know where you live and you listen to my rules and you sign the contract that says you'll watch for my book. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Number 13 is when I was younger, I actually had an accident in my backpack. I had an open water bottle and it got all over my book and I actually cried for about three days after that. <laughs> 14. I wish characters looked like actual people and not like they're perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're a teenager, you need to zit at least yes. one on your nose or something. You do not have clear skin. Mm -mm. Get with it. I was once grounded for reading too much. Fifteen. The longest book I've ever read is War and Peace, which was a few years ago because I was dared to read it, and I read it in a week. It is 1,456 pages long. That's such a long book. If I could escape to any magical world, I would instantly go to Hogwarts. I don't like Twilight. When I was younger, I used to sit in my dad's wardrobe and hope that it would take me to Narnia. Haha, <laughs> this, this goes with it. I've never read Narnia! <gasps> I've never read books! They're so good. Alright, I have trouble ditching bad books, but if it's really, really bad, I will give up on reading it. I don't enjoy reading the classics. I hate when people pick up my books and go, ooh, what's this? I like reading in silence. Hey, this goes along with it. I hate when people interrupt me when I'm reading. This kind of goes with your other one. I try not to DNF a book because as a reviewer, I want to tell people why I dislike it so much, but sometimes it cannot be helped. Mm -hmm. I dislike fake readers. The love triangle trope is my least favorite. I want to kill the entire triangle and make it a squished thing of it's life. Fine. I love to drink tea while I'm reading. It makes me feel fancy. I will not write in my books or dog ear because that's murder. That is murder. I dream of having my own home library someday complete with a comfy chair. I love shopping on Book Outlet for books. Mm -hmm. Not sponsored, by the way. I wish it was, though. <laughs> I can read a book in a day if I'm in the mood. My favorite authors are Shelley Crane and Rochelle Mead, among 5,000 million others. <laughs> The longest book I've actually read was Les Mis. It was the unabridged version. I don't know how many pages it is off the top of my head. Over 1,500. It was a long book. It was boring, but I read it. 25, the last question after this very long video. 
I love historical romance, especially when it's Highlanders and like the cute cowboys. Mail order. Hmm. I like that. I absolutely hate the Twilight series, but there is a book that I hate even more, and that is Catch-22. That book is awful. I can't stand it. I will never read it again. It was the worst thing I've ever read. There are our facts. You know a whole bunch of facts about us. Probably more than you wanted to know, but there Hopefully. you go. So, I have a hair on me. So, like our videos, subscribe, our social medias and stuff is down below. Check those out. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Enter the giveaway. That's down below too. Watch it. We love Dig it. Enter it. Okay. See you in our next video. Bye.